Hey, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and in this video, I wanted to talk about my favorite ways to rig and use the gulp shrimp for inshore species in the fall. Now, the nice thing about this lure is it will catch just about anything that swims, uh, especially in the fall, because a lot of fish are a lot more active. You know, water temperatures are starting to drop back down to that comfortable range, and this can be retrieved very quickly and also very slow. So it's a very versatile bait depending on the conditions. You know, in the fall, uh, once those water temperatures really start to uh, cool down and also, you know, get really strong cold fronts that come through, those fish become a lot more lethargic and less willing to cooperate. So a very slow presentation can definitely be key. And then when you get a little bit of a warming trend in the fall, you know, a lure that darts around and has some really good scent to it, such as a gulp shrimp, can work really well. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is rigging this up. My favorite way to rig this up, uh, I'll show you here on some jig heads. It's very specific, the type of jig head that I like to use, and I'm going to show you why uh, here in a second. And also I want to discuss some different ways to retrieve this lure based on the type of species that you're trying to target. So we're going to discuss that as well. Now, when it comes to rigging up the gulp shrimp when you're fishing in the fall, I believe this is very important as far as, you know, the type of rigging you're doing because you want to be able to do multiple different types of presentations with this bait because of the varying water temperatures and the varying activity of fish in the fall because like I said before, you know, if it gets really cold, those fish will be, you know, a lot slower and lethargic and they want a much slower presentation. And then, you know, when you get that warming trend or very stable conditions, those fish are going to be a lot more active. So, you know, a retrieve style that is more aggressive can work out really well. So with that being said, I like to use a jig head. The weight, anything from an eighth ounce up to about three quarter ounce, depending on the depth that you're fishing. Uh, and also if the current's very strong, you may want to go a little bit heavier on that jig head. And also I like to use jig heads because they keep the bait closer to the bottom. Most fish in the fall, they're gonna be holding very tight to the bottom, especially in areas where it's very muddy because that, that mud, you know, it helps retain heat and those fish like to bury themselves in that mud. So if you can keep a presentation close to the bottom in the fall when using the gulp shrimp, that's definitely going to increase your chances of catching those fish. Also, something you're gonna notice about these jig heads that I have here, this is a Mission Fishing uh, jig head. It's a football style head on the jig head. And then all, uh, this one right here is a Saltwater Assassin or Bass Assassin Pro Elite jig head. And you notice these both, both of these jig heads here, they stand up. When they're on the bottom, they stand up, that hook point is up. That's gonna give your bait a more natural presentation when it's sitting on the bottom and you're doing a very slow uh, you know, style of presentation where you want that bait to just sit on the bottom for a few seconds and then pop it and twitch it, let it sink back down and sit on the bottom. You want that bait to be sitting straight up. You really don't want that bait to fall over and just look unnatural on the bottom. So uh, if you do have trout eye jig heads, I found that these don't work as well because of how narrow they are. They tend to, you know, want to fall over when that bait is sitting on the bottom. It's just not a natural presentation. So as you can see, when we rig this up, this is probably my uh, number one go-to is the Mission Fishing uh, jig heads because they like to stand straight up. Now, when you rig these up, just like you normally would with any other type of soft plastic, you wanna make sure that lure goes on nice and straight. You don't want any curvature to the lure because when you go to you know, start to retrieve it, that lure will start spinning and helicoptering. It's just not natural uh, to the fish. So you want it to be nice and straight, nice and streamlined, no curves in it. As you can see, that bait is nice and straight on the jig head and when it's sitting on the bottom, you know, it's sitting nice and flat on the bottom and straight. And then you'll also notice the color I'm using here. This is the new penny color. Uh, really, I only use two colors of the gulp shrimp and it will be either new penny or just pearl white. Those seem to be the two best colors uh, to use. You don't have to go out and buy, you know, 20 different colors of gulp shrimp. If you get yourself some new penny and some white, you should be good to go. Also, I really like the three inch size. 
It's a nice medium size, it's not too big, it's not too small, and it works really well. So now as far as retrieving the gulp shrimp, it's going to be very similar for all species. The only real difference is, you know, the pause in between the twitches of the lure. So as you're going to see here, this is for sea trout and snook. When I cast it out, let it sink to the bottom and you want to do some sharp twitches with a brief pause. And that pause is really going to depend on the conditions. If it's really cold out, I will make that pause a lot longer but then I will have very sharp twitches in between. Ooh, monster trout. Monster trout. Big boy. That is a big boy. Oh, there we go. So next up is redfish. The presentation of the gulp shrimp with redfish is going to be slower than that of the snook and sea trout because, you know, redfish, especially with gulp products, they will pick up on that scent and the slower that lure moves, the more likely those fish will pick up on that scent quicker. So you want to keep that lure in the strike zone longer. So with redfish, I like to just cast it out, let it sit to the bottom, and I'll sometimes let it sit there for 5 to 10 seconds before I even start retrieving it. And then when I do retrieve it, it will just be, you know, two or three uh, quick twitches and then a longer pause, you know, anywhere from 5 to 10 seconds as opposed to just a couple seconds like we did with snook and sea trout. There we go. There's one. <laughs> Now the last fish that we have on the list here is black drum and this is probably the slowest of all the presentations because you're practically just letting that lure sit there and when I'm fishing for black drum I'm usually sight fishing to them either singles cruising around or schools of them and what you want to do is make a cast to where those fish are at or the direction they're heading and just let that lure sit there until they get close to it and then I'll just do a slow drag, just slowly dragging the rod tip up, dragging that lure across the bottom, keeping it on the bottom. And that's the key is to keep that lure on the bottom, moving it super slow and just creeping it along the bottom. Got it. <laughs> slowly dragging it along the bottom. Now if you're trying to get your hands on some gulp shrimp and also uh, the jig heads that I mentioned in this video, be sure to go to our shop page at fishstrong.com. We do have gulp shrimp and the jig heads on there and you can pick some up. And if you're one of our insider members, you do get an additional 20% off your order. So definitely be sure to take advantage of that. And if you're not an insider member, I'd say you're missing out on some really good savings there. So I'd be sure to check that out as well. So that will wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments, definitely be sure to leave them down below. Also, I'd like to know your feedback. If you have a specific lure that you like to use in the fall, definitely let us know down below. Till next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. If you are new to Salt Strong, we are the largest online fishing club for saltwater anglers and we guarantee you two things. Number one, you'll start catching more fish in less time. And number two, you will save a ton of money on your favorite tackle and gear with discounts available exclusively for our members. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live Salt Strong in where the line today